we're back, we're back, we're back for uh, our first mu movie review in a little while. In a little while. Just getting a little taste. Woo! Last night something special happened. Uh, that special thing was me going to the store and picking this up. Adopt a Highway with Ethan Hawke. Okay? So I watched this last night. I watched this last night and uh, it just blew me away. It really... Oh, sorry about the background noise. That's the washing machine going crazy. Um, but anyway, I had a feeling that this would be good. I had a feeling that I would enjoy this movie. Uh, but when I watched it, I had no idea it would be as good as it was. Uh, it's basically about a guy named Russ Millings, and he's uh, just been released from prison after doing a sentence of like 21 years or something like that. And he got locked up just because of, uh, like, selling an ounce. But it was his third, like, conviction or whatever. And it was, this was when they were doing the three-strike thing or whatever. So he, he went away. They, they, uh, they put him away for a while. And, uh, you know, times have changed. He's, he's released from prison. And a, a big part of the movie is, like, him kind of adapting to society, you know. They don't go into it, like, a ton because there's other elements in the movie, but there is, like, a good portion of the movie that's about him, like, kind of, like, acclimating to society again, you know, like, getting a uh, job, seeing a parole officer, which is not something everyone has to do, but he does, um, uh, seeing a parole officer, and then there's, um, what was the other thing? Oh, uh, learning how to use the internet. So, like, he, he's been away for so long that he doesn't know anything about that. He doesn't have an email or any of that. So, um, that's another portion of the movie. But, anyway, the plot basically entails this character finding a baby in a dumpster. And, uh, kind of trying to take it in as his own. Uh, the, it's a baby girl named Ella. Um... And, and it's basically, it's about that, but it ended up being about a lot more, you know, finding the little kid kind of symbolizes like redemption for the, for the main character, I guess you could say. And it's just a really sweet, um, down to earth movie. It, there isn't anything crazy about it. Um, and, and surprisingly th that is what made it so good and rewatchable to me, I guess you could say. Like, there's a lot of other things, but I, I like the fact that it's not overly complicated or anything like that. It, it's a very, like, straightforward plot and, and all of that. So, yeah, I, I really, really love the movie. And the ending, you know, the, the, there's a lot of things that were sweet and touching to me, but the ending really really pulled on my heartstrings. I found myself tearing up um, in the in the final act. Um, and it was really surprising. It, it, it was one of those things where it's a balance between sad and 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 touching and just kind of a heartfelt way. So I really enjoyed that. And the other thing that really drove the movie was obviously Ethan Hawke's performance. He's always been an actor that I really enjoy. Um, uh, like I said, there, there isn't, um, a very big cast or anything like that. Very small movie. So, um, it, it really shines with the tools that it was given, you know, and that isn't, that isn't many, I guess you could say. It, it's like I said, very simple, down to earth, sweet movie. Uh, really well done though. Um, it, it, it's like you go into it kind of knowing what to expect and you get, you get uh, an added bonus by the end, I guess you could say. I really love this movie. Um, on the cover, there's a quote that says, will simultaneously warm and shatter your heart. That's a really great way of describing this movie, I would say. Um, on the back, we've it says, Ethan Hawke soars. And, and that's definitely true. I mean, he's the, he's the main character. He's the whole thing in the movie. There are, there's only like 
three characters in the whole movie, if, if you really think about it. Three main characters. Um, I don't know. I, I don't want to, like, ramble too much or anything like that, but I really love this movie, and it's definitely... It's definitely an unexpected hidden gem. Like, if you want to break this movie out um, on, like, a, a quiet night, it, it will definitely do the trick for you, I think. Um, so anyway, I, I had a feeling it would be good, and it just uh, took that assumption ten steps further. I'm going to give this an A. Not an A plus or an A minus or anything like that. I'm going to give it an A. Uh, if I was going to grade it by, like, numbers, I would, like... I guess I would say an 8 because it's a smaller movie, um, but the fact that it's such a well-done small movie or whatever, um, I would maybe give it a 9 or a 9.5. Now that's very generous, but I only review movies that I, I enjoy generally. Uh, there will be some that I have issues with, um, and you'll come to see that, but I really enjoyed this one. So go check out Adopt a Highway with Ethan Hawke. Sorry, I was uh, got lost for a second. Anyway, that's all. Enjoy.